The Wendigo is a creature of Native American folklore that comes in many shapes and sizes. The Wendigo has many names, including Windigo, Wendigo, Windigo, 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 and a lot of other ones. Anyway, the most obscure version of this creature is a spirit that possesses humans who commit cannibalism. This version causes the person to become an ice monster of sorts that grows in proportion of every meal it eats. This causes the person to become a giant and also causes them to become increasingly hungrier. It is said that the only way to kill this type of wendigo is to destroy its heart made of ice. Doing this will also set the soul of the human inside free. Now, for most obscure and most well known, the next version of the wendigo is one that you've likely seen and is a modern interpretation made not by the Native Americans but by the suburban ones. This version of the Wendigo is furry and has the skull of a deer for its head, antlers included. The last version of the Wendigo that I'm going to be talking about today is the original interpretation of the creature and its description. This version of the Wendigo is described as gaunt to the point of emaciation, its desiccated skin pulled tightly over its bones, with its bones pushing out against its skin, its complexion the ash gray of death and its eyes pushed back deep into their sockets. The Wendigo looks like a gaunt skeleton recently disinterred from the grave. White lips and head were tattered and bloody, unclean and suffering from separation of the flesh. The Wendigo gave off a strange and eerie odor of decay and decomposition, of death and corruption. Now you probably noticed I went to a little more detail with that first version of the Wendigo rather than the last two, and that's because whether the Wendigo was described as having a deer skull head or as being a more zombie-like creature, they pretty much have the same abilities, said to be capable of running at incredible speeds and having extremely good noses, but also being able to smell animals and humans from miles away. The Wendigo is also capable of replicating human voices, and supposed that eyewitnesses have claimed to be tricked by Wendigos doing this. However, none of this has ever been confirmed. Now, here's the thing. There's not only three versions of the Wendigo, there's also one more version, and that is the more human Wendigo that has not transformed into a ferocious monster. That would be those who have been inflicted with something known as Wendigo Psychosis. Now, Wendigo Psychosis has not been proven or debunked as far as I know. However, we do have one infamous case of a man inflicted with this disease, or so he claimed. And that is the story of one Native American hunter, if I remember correctly, named Swift Runner. Now, Swift Runner was an ordinary man with a family who lived on one of the reserves of the Native Americans. However, on one particularly harsh winter, he decided to butcher and eat his wife and children. Now, the strange thing about this story is the fact is that there was a food reserve not far from his home. Thus, when he went to court, he admitted to his heinous crime and claimed that he was inflicted with Wendigo psychosis. Now, as far as I know, if I remember correctly, he was executed, but he still lives on in the stories. There's not really a lot of other cases of supposed Wendigo psychosis, and really there isn't a lot to go on the Wendigo itself at all, where people do claim to see Wendigos in the modern day. These stories are hard to come by. Another interesting thing about the Wendigo is its symbolism surrounding corruption and greed, as aside from just cannibalism and hunger. If you notice that first version of the Wendigo, it grows in proportion to each of its meal, never being satisfied, and it just gets hungry and hungrier. Now, that last part also somewhat applies to the other two versions of the Wendigo. The Wendigo is always hungry no matter how much it eats its hunger is never satisfied some versions they get hungrier and some versions they're just still hungry thank you for watching